The rap world is mourning a massive loss from the death of another young talented rapper. Kirsch Nikari Ball, better known by his stage name Takeoff, was the youngest member of Grammy nominated rap trio Migos. Takeoff, who was just 28 years old, was fatally on November 1st during a private party outside a bowling alley in Houston, Texas. While millions of fans are still shocked and processing the devastating news, certain things have been made clear about the incident and the reason behind why Takeoff has been revealed. What really happened that day? On November 1st, about 2.30 a.m., the Houston Police Department received multiple 911 calls regarding an ongoing taking place at 810 Billiard and Bowling Alley. Upon reaching the scene, officers found one victim dead and two more people were injured in the sh They were taken to the hospital in private vehicles. Their condition is still unknown. The Houston Police Department initially made a tweet in which they said they won't reveal the identity of the deceased until the family of the deceased is informed. But thanks to the videos that started circulating online and the witnesses who were present at the scene, it was revealed that the person who died was none other than Takeoff. Later in the press conference, the Houston Police Department confirmed that the person who died was Takeoff. According to various sources, everything began when Takeoff, along with his uncle and fellow Migos member Quavo, visited a private party late at night on the 31st of October. The party lasted till 1 a.m. the next day, but was extended as Quavo was playing a game of dice with another party and he was losing badly and this made him mad and he challenged the opposite party to a basketball game which during things got heated and a dispute between the two parties broke out which resulted in being fired and unfortunately Takeoff was the one who became the victim of the On the other hand, Quavo was safe and uninjured. There were about 40 people at the party, most which fled upon hearing the sounds possibly because of fear but there was one nurse present at the scene who tried to help take off, but unfortunately, he had already succumbed to his wounds. The Harris County Medical Examiner later revealed that the cause of Takeoff's death was penetrating wounds of the head and torso into arm. Why was Takeoff shot? The death of any rapper is shocking to fans, but Takeoff's death was extra shocking because he was different from other rappers. In this era of rap beefs and feuds, he was someone who avoided the drama and minded his own business. So naturally, it was very hard for his fans to digest the news of his death. And turns out his fans were true as in a statement made out on Instagram by his label Quality Control, they wrote, Senseless violence and a stray bullet have taken another life from this world and we are devastated. The label also added, Please respect his family and friends as we will all continue to process this monumental loss. Even Houston Police Chief Troy Finner said he did not want to speculate on whether Takeoff was the target. He said in a press conference, based on what people say about him, he's well respected and non-violent. I would not expect him to be involved but I do want to wait on the investigation. But we have no reason to believe that he was involved in anything criminal at the time. Just as people describe him as very peaceful, loving, and a great entertainer. From all the evidence present right now, it might be safe to say that the did not really target Takeoff and did not want to him. We can say Takeoff was hit by accident and he took a bullet that was not really meant for him. Police Investigation and Its Results The Houston Police Department is still investigating the incident and so far no arrests have been made. They are checking the surveillance cameras and at the spot where the incident took place and investigating bullet shells found at the scene. The Houston Police Department also requested more and more witnesses who were present at the scene at the time of the incident to come forward and give some evidence to the officers even so anonymously if they don't want to reveal their identity so that the officers could reach some clear conclusion on the case. Since most of the people who were present at the scene during the incident fled away, the officers don't have much evidence and clarity as to what actually happened. Right now, according to the police, the suspect or suspects were also guests at the private party. The police department told they will deliver justice to the family of Takeoff and catch the culprits very soon. Takeoff's Legacy Takeoff was the youngest member and one-third of the Grammy-nominated rap group Migos. 
He was also the one who founded Migos with his uncle Quavo and his cousin Offset in 2018 in their hometown of Atlanta. Migos was one of the hottest rap groups of our time and most prominent names in the trap rap genre. Migos had multiple platinum songs and multiple hits on the Billboard charts. They were also well known for the triplet Migos flow. Takeoff was also a well-established rapper and had given many solo hit songs by himself and was also nominated for a Grammy two times. Unfortunately, an incredible artist who had so much more to contribute to the game was lost too soon. Rappers' Reactions to Takeoff's Death Many rappers and celebrities shared their reactions to the sorrowful news of the passing of Takeoff. Rapper Gucci Mane, who recently collaborated with Takeoff and Quavo on the song Us vs. Them, shared a picture of the rapper saying that the news of his death broke my heart. Fellow Atlanta rap duo Outkast shared a picture of the rapper on Instagram with the caption, Rest in peace, Takeoff, sending our deepest condolences and prayers to his family friends and community of people touched by his craft. The rapper designer seemed to be the most heartbroken with the news as he started weeping on Instagram Live and even said that he will quit rap. While shedding tears, he asked, why do we do this and I am done with rap? It's done, it's done, it's done. Not take off, bro, it's done. Rapper Drake paid tribute to take off with an Instagram post of the two sharing the stage during their co-headlining Aubrey and the Three Migros tour in 2018. In the caption, he wrote, Got the best memories of all of us seeing the world together and bringing the light to every city we touch. That's what I'll focus on for now. Rest easy, Spaceman. Rapper and singer Machine Gun Kelly or MGK made a tweet saying, I had the honor of being the first Migos mixtape rapper back in like 2009 crazy what they've done since then. I was proud of that album Cho and Take Off just dropped. The bars and production were so mean I'm just glad he got to experience some of his flowers while he was here. R.I.P. Take Off. WWE superstar Ric Flair who once collaborated for the video for the song Ric Flair Drip with Offset, who was a former member of Migos, tweeted a pic of him with the Migos with the caption, Rest in Peace Take Off. Legendary boxer Mike Tyson made a tweet, sick about takeoff. I met him a few times and it was such a bright light, may he shine eternally now. Offset, who was a former member of the Migos before the trio broke recently and became a duo with just Quavo and takeoff, changed his Instagram profile picture to a picture of takeoff in his honor. Rappers like YG, Corday, Ja Rule, and many others also shared their condolences and offered their prayer to take off and his family.